So just having a quick look at the front of the box, we can see that it looks very simple. It's black and gold, which it sort of, to me, it expresses that it's quite a quality product. It does look sort of quite refined, the black and the, the gold. Uh, we can see the Ernamax logo up here, Modu 87 Plus, and down the left it denotes what wattage it is. So this particular one is 800 watt. It does come in various different wattages, so it's well worth knowing exactly what one you bought. Other than that, you can see, and you can actually see this a lot clearer on this video than you can in sort of you know, real life. It really makes it stand out, but there's a 80 plus gold efficiency certification logo printed in the background, which is a, a nice little touch. Turning the box around, nothing really on the side apart from a picture of a power supply. That side you've just got barcode stickers down here. But on the back, we can see that there's a hell of a lot more information than there was on the front. So we've got the main features listed in English, German, Espanol. Uh, we've got graphs and charts over here explaining about the heat guard, speed guard, uh, the efficiency rating, some of the main features uh, including the dynamic hybrid transformer topology and the twister bearing fan inside in case you really want to know about sort of you know these features that no one's ever heard of. We can also see that we've got specifications over here and cables and connectors over here so it tells you exactly what comes included. Other than that we've got a bit of information up here French, Italian, uh, Polsky and so forth. So it really just does list exactly the same sort of information but in various different languages because Ernamax they do like to cater for the sort of whole European market and pretty much everywhere. So let's have a look at opening this bad boy up. We can see once again there's a little power supply logo here and opening it up we can see there's sort of two compartments to, uh, to this box really. If I just sort of tilt the camera down we can see that we've got a sort of cardboard bit here which when you take that up it does reveal all the modular cables in a bag and then we've got the user's manual which just sort of protects the main power supply from being damaged inside the box. Now once you actually take everything out of the box you'll realise that there's actually more goodies than we first anticipated. We have the user's manual which if we just have a quick look through here Modu 87 Plus we can see that it talks about the specifications in English, German, Spanish, French so once again even the manual caters for various different languages. Putting that back we can see that we have a whole sort of bag full of modular cables, various different connectors, uh, sort of you know six pin with an extra two pin, uh, all sorts of connectors in there. We can also see that we have a UK style power plug with protective cap, some Ernamax branded cable ties with their slogan power innovation design on there which really nice quality. You can see that we have a lovely Ernamax sticker and some screws for mounting the power supply and we also get this Ernamax branded bag. Now just sort of opening this up you can see it's fairly large really and that will sort of you know keep all your, your modular cables intact because you're not going to want to keep the ones that you're not using inside this bag. You're going to want to put it in here pull this across and it will look ever so lovely. Now once you actually uh, take everything out of the box you will find that there is the most important part which is the power supply itself which is in this lovely protective bag. Obviously it's not going to protect against mass amounts of things but it does sort of keep dust and dirt and things like that away. So taking this out of there, there is another accessory which comes with this power supply that we didn't actually talk about and that's this little clip here. Now can anyone guess what that is? Just give you 10 seconds to guess. You can have a little think about it. Anyone? Well, we're going to tell you what it is. Hopefully, some of you actually wrote some comments as to what you think this is. What it does is it goes into here. So, squeezing this together and popping it into there, you get this little metal bracket. And what it actually does is it's a cord guard. So, once you've got your power supply cable in there, you can then sort of slot it through there and it just sort of you know keeps things away and in the right sort of place where it should be. So taking that off we can have a look at the actual power supply itself. On this side we can see that it has a honeycomb design which is always favoured on power supplies due to the, the mass amount of heat dissipation needed. This just obviously helps exhaust anything outside the back of your case. Keeping the focus on the back we can see that we have four mounting screws. One here, one here, one here and one here and an Ernamax logo here on off switch and obviously where your power cable goes. Turning the power supply around we can see that on this side it just simply has the Modu 87 Plus logo. Now the actual power supply itself as you can see is made out of a it's hard to explain but it's sort of like a grainy uh, metal effect uh, material. Obviously it is metal but uh, the effect that it's got is very much like a, a sort of fine grain. So Modu 87 Plus logo on there. Turning it around again 
we get the module 87 plus again and turning it on this side we can see that we have the usual sticker explaining more about the actual power supply so the AC input DC output sort of table and then the usual warnings that we expect now other than that if we turn that round we have this lovely gold fan now I've got to be honest I'm not a massive fan of a cold fan fan of a fan there you go um, not a massive fan of it some may like it but it doesn't really go with anything that I've got I'm using a thermal tape level 10 which has got some lovely red lights in it but obviously I'm not going to be able to see that in my case anyway there's no other cases really on the market unless you did go with Erna Max and some of their gold series fans that this would go with but personal preference is really going to lead to exactly what you get so we have the Ernamax logo sort of emblem in the middle and that has got a protective film over it as well then we've got this huge gold fan in there as well and you can actually see through and see some of the sort of Japanese capacitors that are used and so forth so we can see the main internals of the power supply now on to the bit that everyone really wants to know about because I'm boring you probably at the moment but if we move these cables out of the way we can see that we have all these modular ports now there are five of the five pin black ones and there are three of the uh, the red star ones so what Ernamax actually say is that this power supply is future ready and that's due to these connectors apparently connectors are all going to change in the future and Ernamax are just sort of getting ready for that but obviously as with any modular power supply that we know and love there are some hardwired cables as well and these are all shielded in some sort of braiding so if we just get closer to the camera you can see that they're all shielded in the sort of yellow and red and black uh, braided we've got the usual sort of ATX24 pin we've got a couple of PCI Express 6 and 2 to make 8 another one there so generally you've got all the relevant cables that you need we've got an 8 pin motherboard connector there and then we've got two 4 pins to make another 8 pin there so lots of various connections and all the ones that you really sort of need so being a modular power supply we get this lovely bundle of messy cables and as you can see as we spoke about on the actual hardwired ones this follows suit with the braided cables sort of red black and, and yellowy coloured uh, sort of braiding on there as well so we get certain sort of connections depending on what the connectors actually are so this one would go into one of them red connectors on the power supply and then this comes off into some eight well six and two to make eight pin PCI Express cables we also have relevant ones for serial ATA and Molex and we also get some other connectors which feature the same Molex and also floppy drive connector and some more for PCI Express some more for serial ATA and Molex some more for serial ATA and Molex and you guessed it we also get some more for serial ATA and Molex so all these connectors together they do give you pretty much everything you need I couldn't even imagine how many drives you could connect up to this how many graphics cards you could connect up even with the hardwired cables as well as the modular cables there are absolutely tons of them so you're never going to be short of the cables that you actually need or want.